Hi, I'm John. I'm a physio in the National Rehab in the Spinal Injury Program. Uh, and I've been asked by Spinal Injuries Ireland to do a quick video um, with some recommendations for people with spinal cord injury about how to help maintain your health and well-being during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so from a physical and mental health perspective, exercise can play an important part in your overall well-being. Uh, and in 2017, there were some new exercise guidelines that were created by uh, Loughborough University in the UK and the University of British Columbia in Canada um, that give recommendations for adults with spinal cord injury about how much exercise they should be doing to achieve both strength uh, and aerobic benefits. Um, they're very, very simple and straightforward, but we've also summarized them in a few uh, leaflets that I think Spinal Injuries Ireland are going to put up on their website as well just to make them more uh, readily accessible and help you guys to uh, be able to follow them if that's something that you're interested in doing. Um, so I suppose the strengthening guidelines are the first ones that are there uh, and they are summarized, some recommendations for what to be doing, how often to be doing and also you'll find the actual URL here if you want to see the document itself online. Um, but the recommendations for the strengthening uh, guidelines would be that if you want to work on building your, your strength, you should be doing exercises that are for strength at least twice a week. Um, and doing three sets of 10 repetitions of these exercises. So the key thing for strengthening exercises is that the resistance you're lifting is high enough. So it doesn't matter if you do 40, 50, 60 repetitions. If the exercise resistance isn't high enough, you're not gonna do strength training there. You're probably working more towards endurance and aerobic work. Um, so strength training can be using weights, using terabands, or using heavy household objects like books or tinned food or depending on your your injury level i suppose and your upper limb function um and then from an aerobic point of view so aerobic exercise is around keeping your heart healthy and helping to burn fat uh, and it's all about exercises that bring your heart rate up high and keep them up high for a sustained period so again if you're working on your aerobic exercises you'll find them summarized in this guideline which should be up on Spine Injuries Ireland's website. Um, and again, what the recommendation there would be for aerobic exercise is that it's at least twice a week for 20 minutes and you're doing moderate to vigorous intensity. So what moderate to vigorous intensity would mean is that while you're exercising, you wouldn't be able to maintain a conversation with somebody. So you should be slightly out of breath and sweating a little bit. Um, and if you're looking to try and actually burn fat and lose weight, then the recommendations would say that you should be doing at least three times a week for 30 minutes moderate to vigorous intensity exercise. So again, this can be done through things like using a hand bike, going for a walk if you're able to walk, pushing your wheelchair if you're able to do that. Uh, you could be using gym equipment like rowing machines, hand bikes. Um, and it could also be done through uh, seated aerobic exercises or seated dancing. Uh, you'll find lots of videos online uh, showing different tips for doing that. We've also created a handout again, which I think should be on the Spinal Injuries Ireland website along with this video that has uh, pictures and recommendations of different exercises to be doing. And so I suppose while these are mostly strengthening exercises, if the resistance is high enough, if you do these in a loop, repeatedly you will get an aerobic effect as well if you decide to do them uh, quickly enough but as i said you'll also find lots of videos online if you just google wheelchair aerobic exercises or seated aerobic exercises um, so even if gyms aren't your thing as i said dancing movement of any description that that can work and can help to get your heart rate up and help you feel better um, as i said i think from a physical and mental health perspective it's very very useful things to do um, I said all these will be up on Spine Injuries Ireland's website, so hopefully it will help you guys to keep active uh, and keep busy and help to alleviate some of the boredom that we're, we're all facing at the minute. Um, so I hope you all stay safe uh, and keep as active as you can in these challenging times.